Deep in the heart of Siberia, hidden in the shadows of a cave, a tiny bone fragment rewrote the story of humanity. 50,000 years ago, a mysterious people roamed these rugged lands, neither Neanderthal nor modern human, but something entirely new. They're called the Denisovans, and their secrets are locked in a handful of fossils and a code written in ancient DNA. Join us as we unravel their story, piecing together what they looked like and what they can teach us about our own past. Buckle up, this is a journey into the prehistoric unknown. Picture this. It's 2010, and archaeologists are sifting through the sediment of Denisova Cave, a remote outpost in Siberia's Altai Mountains. This cave, carved by time, has been a shelter for tens of thousands of years. Among the dirt and debris, they find something extraordinary. A tiny pinky bone, no bigger than a pebble, perfectly preserved from a world long gone. At first, they thought it might belong to a Neanderthal, or an early Homo sapiens. But when they sequenced its DNA, the results shocked the world. This wasn't a known human ancestor. It was something new. They called them Denisovans, after the cave where the discovery was made. This wasn't just a new species. It was a new chapter in the human story. That single bone from a teenage girl who lived 50,000 to 75,000 years ago gave us a glimpse into a lost world. But here's the catch. We've only found a handful of Denisovan remains, some teeth, a jaw fragment, a sliver of skull, and a shard of long bone. That's it. No complete skeletons, no detailed portraits of their bodies. So how do we know who they were? The answer lies not in their bones, but in their DNA, and a revolutionary science that's rewriting what we thought was possible. I find it mind-blowing that a single bone fragment can upend everything we thought we knew about human evolution. It's like finding a single puzzle piece and realizing the whole picture of our past is way bigger than we imagined. The Denisovans are like the mysterious cousins we never knew we had, and their story feels like a detective novel, one where science is the sleuth. Let's step back into the prehistoric world. Imagine vast steppes stretching under a cold sky, where Denisovans hunted, lived, and maybe even laughed around campfires. Their DNA tells us they were close kin to Neanderthals, splitting from them around 400,000 years ago. They weren't just isolated loners either. They mingled with Neanderthals and early Homo sapiens, leaving traces of their genes in modern humans, especially in parts of Asia and Oceania. Some of us today carry up to 5% Denisovan DNA, a living echo of those ancient encounters. That pinky bone gave us a full, high-quality genome, an incredible feat for something so old. We know this Denisovan girl likely had dark skin, brown hair, and brown eyes, based on genes we see in people today. But DNA alone can't tell us what she looked like as a whole, her face, her build, her presence. Without a skeleton, it's like trying to describe a painting from a single brushstroke. So scientists turn to a new tool, paleoepigenomics. This isn't just about reading DNA, it's about understanding how it was used, like decoding the instructions that shaped a Denisovan's body. The idea that we can trace our ancestry back to these ancient meetups is wild. It's like realizing your family tree has branches you never knew existed. But what really gets me is how limited our evidence is just a few scraps of bone. It's humbling to think how much we're piecing together from so little. And it makes me wonder what other secrets are still buried out there, waiting to be found. So, What's paleoepigenomics? Picture DNA as a massive book of instructions for building a human. The epigenome is like the editor, deciding which chapters get read and which stay silent. 
Chemical tags, like methyl groups, act like sticky notes, turning genes up or down. In 2014, scientists figured out how to map these tags in ancient DNA, even from a 50,000-year-old bone. By comparing the Denisovan epigenome to those of Neanderthals, modern humans, and even chimps, they could spot differences in how genes were expressed. Here's where it gets exciting. Some genes that were turned down in Denisovans match mutations in modern humans that cause specific physical traits. For example, if a gene linked to jaw shape is silenced, we can look at people today with similar mutations to guess how a Denisovan's jaw might have looked. They tested this method on Neanderthals and chimps first, nailing 29 out of 33 predictions for Neanderthals, like their broader faces and flatter heads, and 20 out of 22 for chimps. That's a solid track record. When they applied it to Denisovans, they predicted 32 traits, painting a rough picture of a people with elongated faces, robust jaws, wide pelvises, and even wider fingertips, much like their Neanderthal cousins. This feels like science fiction coming to life. We're not just digging up bones anymore, we're reading the chemical instructions that shaped our ancestors. It's like hacking into the code of prehistory. But it also makes me wonder, how much can we really trust these predictions? It's a brilliant method, but it's not perfect. And that uncertainty adds to the mystery. So what did a Denisovan look like? Based on paleoepigenomics, they shared a lot with Neanderthals. Think sturdy builds, wide rib cages, and strong jaws built for a tough prehistoric life. But they had unique features too. A longer dental arch, a wider skull, and maybe even a tendency to lose teeth early, like some of us do today. In 2019, a jawbone found in a Tibetan cave confirmed three out of four predicted jaw traits, giving us a rare moment of validation. Imagine standing face to face with a Denisovan in that Siberian cave. Their world was harsh, ice age winters, roaming predators, and the constant struggle to survive. Yet they thrived, spreading across Asia, from Siberia to the Tibetan plateau. Their DNA in modern humans suggests they were adaptable, maybe even innovative, sharing knowledge or tools with their neighbors. But without more fossils, this picture remains a sketch, not a photograph. Every new find, like that jawbone, adds a stroke of detail to the canvas. I can't help but imagine what it would have been like to meet a Denisovan. Were they as curious about their world as we are about theirs? Their lives were so different, yet their genes live on in us. It's a reminder that we're all connected across tens of thousands of years, but the gaps in our knowledge frustrate me. We're so close to seeing them clearly, yet so far. To make this real, let's look at a modern story. In 2018, researchers studied the DNA of people in Papua New Guinea, where Denisovan ancestry is among the highest. One community, living in remote highlands, carries up to 5% Denisovan DNA. Scientists found that certain Denisovan genes may have helped them adapt to high altitudes, much like the Denisovans who lived on the Tibetan Plateau 50,000 years ago. These genes influence how their bodies use oxygen, giving them an edge in thin mountain air. Another example comes from a 2019 study in the Philippines, where a tiny bone, not unlike the Denisovan pinky, was found in Kalau Cave. It belonged to a new human species, Homo lucinensis, but its discovery sparked debate. Could it be related to Denisovans? The bone was too small for DNA testing, but its age and location hint at a web of ancient humans crisscrossing Asia, sharing genes and stories. These modern connections make the Denisovans feel less like a distant mystery and more like part of our shared journey. These stories hit home for me. They show how the past isn't just some dusty relic. It's alive in people today. The idea that a Denisovan gene could help someone breathe easier in the mountains is incredible. It makes me think about how our own DNA might carry echoes of survival from a world we can barely imagine. The 
The Denisovan story is far from over. Somewhere out there, in frozen permafrost or forgotten museum drawers, more fossils are waiting. Each new find could confirm or challenge what we think we know. Paleoepigenomics is just the beginning. New technologies, like AI-driven DNA analysis, might one day give us an even clearer picture. For now, we're left with a tantalizing glimpse of a people who shaped our past, but whose faces we can only imagine. What's certain is that the Denisovans were more than a footnote in prehistory. They were survivors, adapters, and part of the messy, beautiful tapestry of human evolution. Their story reminds us that the past is never truly gone. It's written in our genes, our curiosity, and our drive to uncover the truth. I'm excited to see what's next. Every new fossil feels like a letter from the past, and I can't wait to read more. But it also makes me reflect on how fragile these discoveries are. One bone can change everything, but one misstep could lose it forever. Let's step into the shoes of a Denisovan for a moment. It's 50,000 years ago and the Siberian wind howls outside Denisova Cave. The fire crackles as a small group huddles together, crafting stone tools with practiced hands. Outside, the landscape is a frozen mosaic of snow-dusted plains and towering pines, where mammoths and wolves roam. A Denisovan hunter prepares for the day, wrapping furs tightly to ward off the biting cold. Their wide jaws chew on dried meat, their sturdy frames built for endurance in this unforgiving world. Imagine them pausing to gaze at the stars, perhaps wondering about their place in this vast, wild world. Did they tell stories? Create art? We don't have their voices, but their tools, found alongside their bones, hint at a life of skill and survival. One artifact, a bone needle, suggests they sewed clothing, a small but ingenious act of adaptation. This glimpse into their daily life makes them feel less like a scientific puzzle and more like people, navigating the same struggles and hopes as we do. This side story makes the Denisovans come alive for me. That bone needle, it's such a small thing, but it tells us they were problem solvers, just like us. I wonder what they dreamed about under those ancient skies. It's a reminder that even in the Ice Age, humanity was finding ways to thrive, not just survive. As we leave the caves of Siberia behind, the Denisovans teach us a powerful lesson. Our past is a puzzle, and every piece matters. From a single pinky bone to the genes we carry today, the story of humanity is one of connection, resilience, and discovery. So, keep asking questions, keep exploring, and never stop wondering about the ancestors who made us who we are. If you love this journey into prehistory, hit that like button, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think the Denisovans look like? Let's keep the conversation going. The Denisovans show us that even the smallest clues, a bone, a gene, can unlock vast stories about our past. Stay curious, because every discovery brings us closer to understanding who we are.